bit, but let's jump to politics now. Is ousted Senate President Russell Pierce running for state Senate again? We told you earlier this morning he's expected to make a big announcement at some point today. Evan Wylosh with Arizona Capital Times newspaper joining us live this morning for more on this. So Evan, what do we expect and does he stand a pretty good chance? Well, you know, in politics the expectation game is always one you you want to stay away from, you know, and making, making certain predictions. There's no, really no telling what's going to happen tonight. Uh, what we know is that Russell Pierce is going to be meeting with a Tea Party group in the East Valley and that expectations are he's going to announce that he's going to be running again for the state senate. Uh, this is a, a newly drawn district uh, following the redistricting uh, that we saw taking place over the last uh, year, roughly. And uh, it's, a very, it's a very Republican district. It looks like it would be favorable to him, but it does change you know, the boundaries um, of where he used to run. So, so it's a different district. It cuts off part of his old district. It includes a different part of the district that he previously did not represent. And he would also be running against another incumbent, uh, Senator Rich Crandall. Uh, he's perceived as a moderate. And, uh, you know, this, this fight could get real dirty. They've had their, their issues in the past, um, disagreements on some of the immigration bills that Russell Pierce has pushed. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to yeah. watch and see if that's what happens. Well, we'll, we'll be watching tonight to see what the big announcement is. We know we, you will be, too. Hey, a couple of pieces of legislation uh, in regards to the border. What do we got going on here? Well, you know, this year... You know, in terms of immigration bills this year, it looks like the legislature has shifted over and focused on the border and really trying to beef up border security. One bill would allocate some money to be spent on a border fence. Uh, this is money that's already being donated by private citizens to a fund that was set up last year. This basically just gives the appropriation power for that money to a small committee uh, made up of lawmakers, ranchers, and a few uh, sheriffs. Now, the other bill that we're watching is uh, a bill that would fund the border, uh, they call it a special missions unit, but it's essentially a border militia. It's a volunteer militia. Uh, this was also established last year, but this is the bill that would put some money into, into, that, into that group and allow them to hire a commander who would be setting up all the training and protocols, buying equipment, and actually putting this thing into action. So, so a couple of really interesting bills, and that's yeah. really the, the way that they've taken on immigration this year, it seems. And we'll see how it goes, but it looks like those bills are passing through the legislature pretty easily. Whether or not Jan Brewer decides to give them a signature or veto, still up in the air. Wow, yeah, state money for a uh, volunteer militia should be interesting. Evan, thank you for joining us. A reminder, his blog about those border issues online at abc15.com right now. Just click on the top stories section on our webpage.